Hey, hi. Uh, today we are going to see uh, one of the beautiful features of AWS uh, services, so which is uh, Lambda functions. So Lambda uh, provided by AWS is one of the great uh, ways to handle the event-based execution of code. So Lambda will let you execute the uh, particular uh, package of uh, code uh, only uh, when there is a trigger happens. So you no need to manage and it will automatically happen. So triggers can be uh, generated uh, based on HTTP, SNS or S maybe from a storage uh, like S3 buckets. So today we are going to take an uh, example of how do you generate a, uh, S3 uh, triggers and how the Lambda function will trigger the uh, execution and completes the computation just by taking a sample example. So let's begin with uh, uh, generating a sample S3 bucket. So go to service, click on S3 storage. So under this, uh, we can create, a, uh, there is an already a bucket available, but let's create a new bucket. And always our bucket name should be unique. So let's create lambda bucket sample one, two, three. So this is my bucket name to demonstrate lambda and uh, keep the region by default and uh, block all public access. As of now, I don't want to give the access to anybody. And on the advanced setting, you can see that uh, enable disable. So this is for versioning of the file. So let's keep it as a default and create okay so when you create click on the create button it creates a, a specific uh, s3 container or a bucket for you to add delete or maintain the file so now it's created we can see that uh, lambda bucket sample under three is over bucket. when i click on this uh, i can see that uh, how is it, uh, organized and any data is available so by default no data is available so this is my s3 buckets and let's let's create a, a lambda function so i'm going to create a new page for this on the new page we can see that uh, there is a lambda page available so in that there is the right side you can see create function on the lambda aws lambda we can create functions application and layers so let's create a lambda function already one function is available let me create a fresh one when I click on the create function, you can see that three options. So we'll be choosing the uh, from scratch to demonstrate the basic uh, Lambda functionality. So I'll give you a, a very simple uh, Lambda function name. Lambda sample S3 trigger. So the Lambda will be executed based on S3 triggers. And this is the just a container. So we have to tell the uh, Lambda um, function what kind of code it can run. So we can write the code here itself or we can run the code which is already developed. So there are different languages are supported. So let's go with Java 8 for now as a runtime environment. And there is something called permission. So who want what kind of permission you want to give access? So if you already defined in IAM console. So we can use the existing one, but we haven't. So we'll create a new role with a basic Lambda function and then create function. So this will uh, create a Lambda function, a new Lambda function, which is empty with no source code, nothing. So this is where uh, we can uh, manage the complete uh, automated uh, code execution based on the triggers. So you can see that uh, design is ready with a lambda function name as lambda sample s3 trigger and you can see on the left side there is an add trigger so this is where we can add the triggers from which the lambda function can be triggered so when you click on that uh, we can see that several options which we can make them as a triggers so right now our focus is on the s3 so let's click on s3 so when i click on s3 it will uh, give me an option to select the which bucket I want to use. So you just need to create a lambda bucket sample one to three. So I'll select that bucket and event type. So on what type of event you want to create a or a generate a trigger. So there are different ways like put power post copy. So we'll check take all objects create so that we can generate event for all the activities and ensure that this enable trigger is kept checked and click on the add button so that this trigger will be added to this uh, 
lambda sample s3 trigger lambda function now we can see that the design is updated with this one so we have created a lambda function and we have assigned the trigger from s3 bucket what we have already created so one thing you can notice we have just created a lambda function container so we have to add the code to it so if you come down when you select and come down you can see that function code so there are possibilities to uh, up there is possibility to upload the file or a jar file which you already developed so we can select the runtime 8 and so the handler function what name you have to give and what kind of file you have to upload we will look into it so let's go back to the uh, the java program what we want to execute on this trigger so i have already uh, developed one sample uh, program here which is called s3 trigger lambda so this is like a just a uh, maven based uh, java project uh, with um, a sample lambda function implemented to just send the uh, um, event to lambda uh, to read the events anytime uh, you add a file to s3 container so this is a sample function so for that uh, i will just explain the pom uh, pom xml file uh, what are the dependencies for this so we have used the majorly uh, the lambda java core and the lambda java sdk and the java sdk for log 4 and this is for the regular logs so these are the uh, amazon uh, packages available so you can add them directly into pom so that you can integrate in your project so in the class if you see in the beginning i have added these three imports uh, for specifically for um, uh, the aws uh, lambda function as well as the event handling so here we are creating a, sam uh, a very simple uh, class called sample lambda and we are implementing uh, the request handler uh, um, interface so it takes the uh, two inputs so like a regular java uh, method the input uh, parameter and output parameter input is the event and output is the string data value so we are writing the, uh, the handle request method so which will uh, take the event notification and the context as an input so anytime you add a file uh, this function will be called and event will be generated so once it is generated this log file will be uh, this log will be uh, written to the console or log handler and also we are writing here uh, a json structure of the event details so anytime event is triggered from s3 to lambda so it will pass the event details such as um, like what type file what type of the file is added what is the file name when it is added so we'll see the output um, very soon so this is a very simple function data. so let's uh, quickly build uh, this one using uh, maven so maven build and i'll make a clean package so we should be able to uh, generate uh, a package um, jar package to upload to the uh, our aws lambda function so you can see the build is success and when i refresh so i see that s3 trigger lambda model is packages generated so we'll go to uh, this now we have to upload the package so what is the package we have generated s3 trigger lambda is what is generated so let's quickly open this this is our package size and when you come to handler so here we have to give the information of the package so package is com.test package dot class name dot your request handle method it's not dot it is colon colon your handle request method so this is what is like we uploaded the file and we give the handler details and it is which is already compiled and kept a jar ready now we'll click on save so when you save this file will be uploaded and the data will be ready so while this is uh, saving so we'll go to the bucket and uh, check the uh, content and how do we add the file
so under amazon s3 bucket i see there are two buckets so this one what we have created uh, recently so under this uh, bucket uh, we don't have any files as of now so it's empty and uh, i feel it is completed yeah still it is saving you can see that it is uh, it's still unsaved changes so once complete saving is done it will show as a saved one so we can wait uh, till it saves because unless it is saved the action will not be reflected so now we can see that successfully uploaded the function um, to the uh, lambda so with this we will go back to um, the s3 bucket lambda bucket sample one two three and upload a file so when i say add file i can just say check the uh, take the youtube link dot text file open say next 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 and say upload so what are we doing we are just uploading one file to this s3 bucket created just now so when i upload a file this s3 will trigger an event to the lambda function what we have mapped so how do i see that that is executed or not so we can go to uh, cloudwatch so cloudwatch is basically help you to see the logs so we have put the two logs if you remember so go to the cloud watch so it's taking a little time uh, so this is my lambda so okay. on the cloud watch if you see there is a logs group so if i click on the logs group you see that there is a log group created aws lambda and my lambda function name lambda sample sl trigger so if i click on this i can see some logs generated once i click on this I can see the logs coming in yes uh, we got the logs so if you see that uh, this log uh, lambda function is trigger so if I click on that this log is generated which is nothing but what we have put in this one so this is a log what we are getting and if I expand the next line I can see that the complete JSON package which is the next line of uh, log so what are we getting the complete like um, the record based on the file upload so name of the bucket is this one and the file name if you see which is the uh, youtube link dot text so this is dot uh, is available as part of the notification so this ensures that uh, you are able to generate a trigger based on your s3 bucket data upload so this is our lambda function this is trigger and we are able to successfully see that the event is triggered and the lambda function is able to execute so hope you understood uh, how do we create a lambda function and uh, s3 bucket connection and then executing the java code to trigger the uh, based on the trigger from s3 thank you for watching